Hey, good morning. Oh, it, it, it's cooling off a little bit outside, but it's still humid. How are you doing with your weather? You know, it's a sign of getting older if one of your main topics is the weather. I didn't know that. <coughs> Excuse me, until I watched that. Oh, some insurance company that's making fun of first time homeowners. <laughs> ah, I finally got tired of that nozzle thing or it fell out. I can't remember now. Go on, see now, as my grandma would say. So I'm trying to pour it in. They're close enough in color. I think they'll be fine. And um, I'm just putting it in something because this Wet n Wild has a, app, you know, a little wand in it. <clears throat> so I'm, I've got enough of the heavy makeup out that I'm gonna stand them up over each other. There we go, woohoo! Now I hope they don't fall. We'll see what happens. Be great if that works. I've had it work before. Got a little makeup on me. Okay. So, I was going to share a little something today. This seems to be kind of going around. Is <clears throat> Frankie's going out to you. It was hot. It was hot outside. It was hot. Yeah. Um... <clears throat> So, um, I'm going to have to try to figure out, because I love the interaction we have. <coughs> Excuse me, I'll have to take a sinus pill this morning, I guess. I love the interactions that we have. Um, but... It's been very difficult for me to get privacy. So that's why I haven't been on as much as I used to before I started the channel. And because I, I kind of do better when I have interactions with other people. And I, so I like to comment on some of your statements but I'm I'm afraid I don't know if it's the summer that I'm um less of you are responding um or because I wasn't doing enough videos to keep you engaged or or I embarrass too many of you to respond any with much information in the message section but um because I'm not trying to build the channel, I like to talk about mental health a little bit. And myself, my favorite subject. That's what this channel is here for. So I want you to know that if you leave a message and you don't want me to use your name or you don't want me to do a video and have it obvious who left the message the video before, you... I don't know if you knew this, but you can delete your own message. Once I get it and respond to it, you're like, oh, she saw it. Then go ahead and delete it. Because it's, if I don't have a two-way conversation, it's kind of hard to come up with topics. And it's kind of hard to really get into the meat of tomatoes. And if I'm kind of going down the wrong path, it's hard for you to respond and say, no, no, I meant this. Um, and then I can go, oh, okay, well then maybe these are some options or maybe tell you one of my own stories that relate to it so you don't feel so alone. So, and I'm, I think, remember when I had the idea of doing a, oops, I was afraid that would happen. Getting too jerky. Um, I thought about having a a live every Sunday. Well, not long after that. Not long after that, I I lost a lot of privacy. <clears throat> so, um. 
get some of the, I love these little sponges you can get off of Amazon or what have you. That's where I got these. Just get some of that makeup off your hair. Keep you from looking like an old woman with dementia and just look like an old woman. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm, I'd, I'd really like to do that. Not just for y'all, but for me, because I love the interaction we have. Um, last time I got on and did a spontaneous video, it was really fun. Um, <clears throat> people were coming and going, I guess, and kind of gave me that extra energy I need with that give and take. Um, but it wasn't, I don't think any, I'm not sure that any of my regulars were able to show up because, you know, once again, it was spontaneous. So y'all didn't know. Okay. I think that's good enough. Um... I'm gonna use some of my eyeshadow for lipstick. <coughs> so I'm seeing, I'm seeing some interesting, I, I think I told you this before, sometimes, I don't know if it's the stars, the moon or what, but Sometimes several of my clients would be going through the same thing at the same time. And I think it's pretty cool that that's happening. Um, and right now, I have several clients experiencing the, I've never had anyone to stick up for me. I've never had anyone to have my back. And now this is after, I like those two put together. <clears throat> yes, ma'am. Um, so they know better. This is just simply like a relapse or what I call backslide or more often than not. And that's why I think each one of these clients is experiencing is what I call a rebound effect. <coughs> and that's when you've been doing something <clears throat> so well, but it has been so different from the past that your the brain says some of the neural pathways they're they're just tired of being pushed they're just tired it's not that they're unhappy with the push they're just tired like if you're exercising or running you're trying to build your stamina i need a little more color on my neck there we go just to make it not look so foreign that helping? I can't tell. My eyes are getting so old. There's not a, enough in here to really keep messing with, I don't think. I try not to waste anything. You know what I mean? Jelly bean. But I also have learned that these glass jars are heavy. And um, it's hard to know how much is in there, but I got, I filled it up from here to here, so that's good. Now I'm gonna set this upside down so it can have a chance to mix. Wet and wild is kinda thin anyway, so it shouldn't be too bad. Um, so what's happening is, they're, they've been staying more calm in their relationships at home. They've been less angry. They've been putting some effort in. And now these are people who have had very short tempers, been very mouthy, uh, defensive. They've been trying to, 
you know, go through life protecting themselves so much <clears throat> that their partners have given quite a bit, you know, in their eyes, but they keep getting this verbal abuse, this mouthiness, this sarcasm, this, these jabs. Well, people get tired of it. They get tired of hearing it, so they finally come into counseling because they want me to side with them that they're right in everything they say or do. Or they're just like, they know something's wrong, they just don't know how to fix it. Whatever the reason, they make it into therapy and realize that at some level they're just tired of living like that and they know there's something else. They know there's a different way to live. They just don't know what exactly. And one of the things that happens, for instance, if someone has these certain drugs from their hormones coming into their brain, it can make you think something that's not normal. And I'm not talking about paranoid schizophrenic. I'm not talking about a permanent brain damage or, or malfunction kind of thing. I'm talking about like some women, not as many as you think, experience hormonal changes enough where it makes them moody once a month, give or take. <clears throat> some people are on some kind of placebo effect where they think they have permission to act like that every month. And we've worked through a lot of those in my office too, which is a beautiful thing. Talk about freedom um, and control issues lack of control issues, whatever you want to call it. It's, it's wonderful. The freedom from anger and frustration and aggravation, the freedom from even considering dealing with that is a wonderful thing. 